let's take a look at what's been changed in Camera Raw 7. When a raw image is dragged into Photoshop, Camera Raw will pop open allowing you to make adjustments to the raw data of that photo. And just like in Lightroom 4, all the adjustments are now set at their midpoint which allows us to bring back data that we didn't even know existed. Increasing or decreasing any of these sliders will increase or decrease the corresponding data in your photo. For example, increasing the highlight slider will bring back light areas of your photo. Decreasing the slider will dampen the light areas. Pretty simple. We also have a few new sliders. Instead of the fill and recovery slider which we had in previous versions, which honestly most users didn't know exactly what they did, we now have a shadows and white slider. But before we start messing with the sliders, let's take a look at our histogram at the top. This will give us an idea as to what needs to be adjusted. On the far left we have our blacks and our shadows. On the far right are whites and highlights. And right in the middle we have our exposure, which is basically the overall brightness of the image. Looking at this histogram there's a lot of clumping on the left side and very little data on the right, which is resulting in an overall dark image. Increasing the exposure will help even out the histogram and brighten up the image. But even after doing that we still have a spike on the far left which represents the black tones of our image. To correct this we can increase the black slider until that spike is dealt with. Once you've dealt with any major spikes, adjusting the other sliders will help deal with any additional dark or light tones that you want to bring back or remove from your photo. Camera Raw 7 also gives you access to the improved clarity adjustment which can help bring back detail and sharpen up your images. What's nice about the new clarity adjustment is that it doesn't give you that ugly halo effect that you might have seen in previous versions. Depending on the image that you're working with you may only want to increase the slider a touch. At this point looking at the before and after we have certainly made an improvement from what we started with. But if we zoom into the gorilla's face you're going to notice that our adjustments left us with a lot of noise which is common when brightening up a dark photo. Luckily Camera Raw has pretty impressive noise reduction which can be found under the Detail tab. Depending on the amount of noise present you may only need to increase the luminance slider just a little bit. For this image I'm going to increase it a little bit more than I usually would. As you can see much of the noise has vanished without blurring the subject. Of course if you feel that some of the detail was lost in this process you can increase the luminance detail slider to bring some of that lost detail back. The last area of Camera Raw I want to touch on is the adjustment brush which has also received some nice updates including the addition of the shadows, highlights and noise reduction sliders. The adjustment brush allows you to make many of the same adjustments you made to your overall image but to specific areas of your photo. For example the slab of rock on the right side of this image is quite distracting. Right off the bat I know I want to pull back its highlights in order to darken up the stone. Once I choose the adjustments that I want to brush in I'm able to brush over the areas that I want to change. So instead of dampening the highlights on the overall image, I can now choose exactly where I want to apply those adjustments. And those are a few of the changes to Camera Raw 7, part of the Photoshop CS6 beta. 